Hello everybody, my name is Farmer Phil and in today's video, myself and bro, we are going spreading dung. So he's in the 7618 and the K2600 and I am in the Demo Schaefer, kindly sent down to us by Howard Fulton from H. Fulton Tractors, as it says on that. So, we're going to spread dung for a neighbour, then we're going on spreading the dung for more another farmer and we're just kind of finishing up the dung spreading season. So anyways, I better keep going. I'll put down the camera, and yes, I do have a cold, my nose is blocked, but we have to be on regardless. Anyways, here now, and yeah, this is what we have to spread. Not a major pile, but I don't know the same. Suspension. Trying to remember. Because we are a little bit on the tight side and bro has to reverse across the road to get out into the field so i'll be guiding around it is a bit tight but it's nothing we can't handle nothing we can't handle so yeah just try and figure out what's the best way i might be able to get turned might have enough space to turn here to get head out anyways we'll figure it out we get ourselves up and running and yeah we get going so we're in the tractor with bro and we have to spread this, so start spreading along the back of that hedge there, that bro, hedge. okay? And be careful for rocks. There's a lot of big rocks here anywhere that there's a lot of weeds or vegetation. Don't drive into it because there could be a few pointy rocks in it. So we're going to spread around the edge of this field, bro, and then we have to go across below there if we can get across. I don't know whether we will or not. So you can just pull her in that way now, bro, and start her up. Nicely well rotted dung that. She's spreading fine, don't worry. She's spreading very good, so she is. Don't think we'll put it out too heavy, maybe. Maybe we want to put out a bit lighter. Kind of what, yeah, kind of a gauge to get it kind of around the field. There's maybe 10 or 12 loading that. So I just want to try and gauge it right. Right, start turning that way now, just them where them rushes are as well. Thanks for the early warning. It's perfect, that ground is 100% dry. It's a terror. It is, today is a bit of a wet day, um, and last night there was a lot of rain, but ground is shocking dry when we cut the maze. Bro, have nearly no muck, no mess in our tearing. It was really, really good. Hey. Bro, you want to see, can we get across the river there? Were you, so, were you at the maze? There was a good chunk of muck on the road. Yeah, but it was, it, the field was dry in comparison. Ground is still very dry for the time of year, so it is. Uh, so anyways, we're back to the yard there. We'll try and get ourselves organised a little bit better. And we'll get spreading. I might leave bro with a camera for the crack. See what bro has to say. <laughs> uh, show your new haircut. Look, I at this, look at this lad, huh? <laughs> Looking fresh. I only did this because I'm going to Famophobia on someday. Huh? Pulling women, is that it? Oh, I wish, <laughs> I honestly wish. Anyways, we go get this dung out for this man, and then we have another bigger job to do later on. Bigger? Oh yeah. How much bigger? A lot bigger. I'm you and Father Phil are going to do that, I'm going to and then um, I'll be <coughs> getting Kathleen with live as we're TB testing next week, so we need to get the last of the cattle. what? TB testing. Tuberculosis? Yes, for the cattle. So it is. Let's get stuck oh, into it. Bro's just gone with his first load there now. So the dung season, it's also coming to the end now. And we are, we're three jobs, this job and two more and we're, we're finished. And again, like the Surrey, we got a nice bit out in the back end of the year in, in early autumn. We got all our own dung out in early autumn, which is unbelievable. I often seen us cutting it fine, trying to get the last of it out. But we got all out in lots of time down the bottoms, which was great, done a great job on the bottoms. Dung is super, super stuff for, for feeding ground, feeding the worms. The dung ends the end of October, so we get this job and the next job done today and then the other job is whenever he gets his digger in to, because he uses a digger to, to fill, to load his. So then that's it, the dung is over until next year. So yeah, it's, it's really is closing off the end of the year now. One thing you may notice with the Schaefer, it's very, very quiet. 
very quiet. When we were loading the lorries of grain, the Wad lorry driver says to me, it's a shocking quiet machine. He couldn't get over how quiet it was. I was on the phone to Liv there, I don't know, what was I doing? We were loading Mill Pete earlier and I was on the phone to her. And Liv, Liv was in town and she said, are you at home? Like, thinking I was sitting down. I said, no, I'm in the Schaefer. She said, I can't hear her running. It's a lovely quiet machine, so it is. Just hang around now till the bro gets back. And if the rain, if I get an opening where the rain is going to be an issue, we'll peg up the drone. Hopefully we do. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Anyways, yeah. Finishing up the dung for the year. In the Shafur. Schaefer. Is it Shafur or Schaefer? tidying up at the face of the night face but just a pile of dung we're just starting to get to the point now where I start scrapping back in the sides and start piling it all into the middle so we're about I'd say four load from the finish isn't too bad at all so it's not this job too much now ground ground is actually surprisingly dry so it is now I'll bring a bucket out with bro empty his load come back in to fill him up again it's about four more load we should we should have it done now so happy days 
one of the things, and I see it a lot, we could do with a bigger mock spreader. It's one of the things on my list. It's not high enough up the list, it's going to happen anytime soon, but it is on my list. But as much as I'd love to have a 12 ton, which would be double the size of what we have at the minute, when the weather goes like this, this time of the year, the smaller spreader is actually quite handy because you're never going out with big, mad, big loads and you just you end up in wetter conditions even though it's dry at the minute but you just you, you tend to do less damage you get on a little bit better but i'd still love a 12 ton to speed up our um tillage spreading so much because it's a bit tedious when you're in a massive pile of dung with that trying to get ahead across tillage ground so wait for bro to come back in again hi don't ask why i'm wearing a hat my dad gave it to me and he told me to wear it so that's why i'm wearing it now and ever. Uh, there's only a few more loads left to do, thankfully. This is my tractor, obviously. I have fought for this thing, because it's sold mine to get this, and as you've more than likely heard over the while, since we've had it. Also, it's, it's raining cats and dogs outside. Also, my tractor keeps steaming up. It keeps steaming up if I don't have the heat on. So the heat's currently on, but I'm not getting any of it. The windows are. I reverse out here. I like here people. Ah. Uh -huh. Yes, this thing has a. <laughs> and then there's brother through the steam filling me up <sighs> now this should be the last load going in going into the dung for now feels my hand just about done my brother will as always finish off the video quite nicely as he always does but I'm assuming that is all for me not really else to see on my part on my end so enjoy the rest of your day so there's bro with the last of it going out and that's it spread that's we'll move on to the next job i swap a father fill and go uh cattle the schaefer lovely machine for dung bucket is great because it, it's just it's a nice size bucket you can get a decent bit in it like what are we talking like four buckets five buckets to fill the dung spreader no it's not the loading shovel where you fill it in three but the loading shovel for jobs like this which are a bit small and awkward not simple using the loading shovel here so it's not not be a long shot but this does the job very nicely very happy with it yeah it's a lovely machine though but anyways, we're going to leave it at that for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. As always, please like and subscribe to the channel. Videos every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday. That's it for me. Good luck.